What's up guys? Today we will be looking at the LEGO Lightyear 76832XL15 spaceship. Now this is for ages 8 and up and it has 497 pieces. On the front of the box, you get a nice pic of Buzz flying the XL15 through hyperspace. Here's one side, the top, the other side that shows you the characters included in the set, which are Buzz, Darby, Mo, and Socks. And here's the bottom with the UPC. And on the back, you have some nice photos of the XL15 ship and the characters. So let's get this open. Okay, so here is everything out of the box. So basically, you get five bags, a sticker sheet, and an instruction manual. So let's get building. back everyone wow these lights are incredible like they're from another galaxy And here is everything fully assembled. Now the contents you get with this toy are a big XL15 ship, a display base that comes with it, a fuel crystal, a computer, socks, XL15 buzz, a white blaster, an interchangeable human head, Mo Morrison, a harpoon, and an interchangeable Zap Patrol helmet, Darby Steel, a rocket launcher, and the same Junior Zap Patrol helmet that comes with Mo. So first, let's look at the main characters and the accessories, then the ship. Looking at the XL15 Buzz, you can see that we have a nice white helmet with a clear visor that goes up and down, so you can see his face even better. You can also take it out to see the purple Buzz head, which is actually really cool. Moving down to his space armor, you can see that it's not the usual type we see, but it's all gray with a Star Command logo, a 15 on it that represents his suit, the XL15, and some blue and green stripes around it. On the body, you can see that we have nice orange with gray hands. We also have a belt and some straps so that he's ready to fly into space. On the back, we have a bit more detail, and we have some holes to fit in some stuff. Now let's look at the accessories that he comes with. 
The accessories that he comes with are a white blaster and an interchangeable head. So to put on the blaster, just fit it like this. To interchange the head, just pop this head off and then fit it on like so. And then that's how you do it. Next, we will be looking at socks. So he looks pretty much the same as the Zerg battle set. Nothing too special, but it's just the fact that he's a good addition to this set. Now, we will be looking at Mo Morrison. So looking at his face, you can see that we have a good amount of detail on the smile and the beard. And he has a black hair piece, which is actually a really good sculpt. Moving on to the body, you can see that the body is pretty similar to the Lego Zyklops Chase Izzy with this part over there. But it's just the fact that he has blue armor on his chest. Now, let's look at the accessories Mo has. The accessories that he comes with are a Junior Zap Patrol helmet like Izzy and the harpoon gun. So to put in the harpoon gun, just put it in either hand. Just fit it onto this handle. And how to put on the helmet, take off the hair piece, put on the helmet, and there you go. The final character that is included in this set is Darby Steel. So looking at her face, you can see that she has a nice mouth with a good hair piece, which is gray. And if you take her hair piece off and turn the head 180 degrees, you can see that her alternate face is angry and determined to fight evil. And that's really cool. Moving down to the body, it's pretty much the same as Mo and Izzy, but it's just the fact that her chest armor plate is green. Now, let's look at the accessories. The accessories that Darby Steel has are a rocket launcher and an interchangeable helmet piece like Mo. So to put on the helmet, take the hair piece off, then fit on the helmet, and that's how you do it. To put on the rocket launcher, fit it in this peg and then just put it in like this. And if you didn't know, there's this trigger thing that you can launch it. So when you press it, it'll launch like that. Since we looked at the characters, we're now going to look at this big XL-15 ship. Looking at this ship, you can see that we had to put a lot of bricks to fit this together. We have blue, white, and a ton of black. And we also have a nice clear green cockpit that opens up so you can fit Buzz Lightyear in. And we're going to show you the details right now. Looking at the details inside this cockpit, you can see that we have two control panels, a ball jointed controller so that Buzz can pilot it, and the IVAN navigation system, which stands for Internal Voice Activated Navigation. And you can also fit Buzz inside too. To put Buzz inside the cockpit, just put him in this cockpit like this, adjust him to any way you like, move the controller to him, Close this green cover, and that's how you do it. Looking at the wings, you can see that one of them has a green light over there, and the left one has a red one, and it also has the XL15 logos on both sides. And we also have the white and red stickers that kind of reminds me of the original Buzz Lightyear wings from the Buzz Talking figure. We also have some more XL15 stickers on the top, and more details included is that when you open this up, you can fit some stuff inside, like this fuel crystal that looks really similar to the Zerg battle set. So to put it in, just fit it in like this, close this part, and that's how you do it. On the back, we have some nice engines that power up the ship, and they can rotate like this. Another detail that you can open is that when you open this up, you can fit the computer inside, and we're going to show it to you right now. So looking at the computer, you can see that we have a nice keyboard with a sticker that shows the fuel crystal with the Star Command logo. Put it in like this if you wanted to, then we'll just close it like that, and that's how you do it. On the bottom, we have a lot of black, and we have a peg here to fit the base in, in which we will show the base right now. Alright, since we looked at the ship, we're now going to look at the base. So looking at the base, you can see that we have a peg here to fit the XL-15 ship. 
And we also have a sticker here that tells you all the information of the Starcommand XL15 ship. It tells you that the length is 48 feet and 2 inches. Its width is 34 feet and 10 inches. Its acceleration is unknown. The maximum speed it takes for this ship is hyperspeed. The fuel it takes is the crystallic fusion. And its navigation is IVAN, internal voice activated navigator. To put the XL-15 spaceship on the base, just fit this hole in there. Make sure it lines up together like this. Push it in like this. And then that's how you do it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you haven't already. I will also leave a link to order this toy on the Lego store or Amazon in the description below. I will also leave the instruction link from Lego in the descriptions below as well. So thank you for tuning into this Lego video and see you next time.